Alright guys, what is going on? We're back with another Indians franchise and it is the All-Star break. So we're going to take a look at the stats and where our team is at. So we are 55 and 32, number one in our division. And Corey Kluber is 9 and 5 with... Yeah. Um, Jake Odorizzi, 10 and 4. We picked him up from the Tampa Bay and he's done very well for us. Even though the ERA is pretty high. Our best pitcher is Carlos Carrasco, 13 and 2 with a 2.55 ERA with 100 strikeouts. Trevor Bauer not doing so well, 4 and 7 with a 4.44 ERA. And Danny Salazar doing okay with 7 and 3 with a 2.57 ERA. Our best bullpen reliever so far has been Cody Allen, I think. Um, Tim, Lim Tim Limpsicum has done okay in the bullpen. It's just his ERA is pretty high as of late. Ryan Reb, pretty much 500. Dan Otero has been amazing so far. And just Austin Adams is not so good. Brian Shaw, pretty good. Joe Thatcher, okay, even though one loss. And Cody Allen with 30 saves already. So, yeah. Our best hitter has got to be Chris Davis. We picked him up kind of late in the season and he's still already been our best hitter because Jason Kipnis it has been cold as of late and so Jan Gomes has been okay the best hitter overall has been Chris Davis with 17 home runs already or 18 I don't really I think it was 17 so we get into this all-star game we do have a couple of people in the all-star game we have Corey Kluber in which he is starting the game we have Carlos Carrasco Cody Allen and our Another starter is going to be Jason Kipnis, so we're only I'm only gonna show you the our style our, our highlights because I don't care about these other guys, all these other guys are our rivals. Like that's how I feel about the All Star game. When I watch the All Star game, as myself and I like the Blue Jays. When I watch the All Star game, I'm waiting to see the Blue Jays. I don't really care about anybody else. Except for like the athletics. I like the athletics, they're pretty fucking awesome. But that's really it. So, this is what I'm going to do here. We're going to look at these Cleveland Indians stats. So, here we go. First at bat for Jason Kipnis. He's batting second in the lineup just like he does for these Indians. I'm thinking about moving him down because he is cold. But let's see what we can do here. And it looks like he's going to be single. And Jose Reyes takes that one out of the air. He had some hops on that one and gets us out. Now, here we go. Bottom of the third. Jose Reyes is up to bat. And we strike him out. That is the first strike out of the game. Corey Kluber has been on fire as of late. So that's good for us. Now here we go. Got a man on first base. Here's going to Charlo Stan. I can't say his name. But we strike him out too. That is two strikeouts to start the inning. And now here we come with Matt Wieters. He hits a home run. I had to show that because that was a man with home run. And that pretty much, that right there. Was the, be was the biggest highlight of the game, I say. All the other ones were like doubles and shit. But look right here, Corey Kluber giving up what I thought was a foul to Michael Franco, and he tied the game there. So, but here we go, trying to get out of the inning. Look right there, get out of here, Joe Panic. We got out of the inning, so it's a tie, three three. We do end up winning the game, seven to four. So look at here, Jason Kipnis gets a single what it really it was gonna be a single either way so yeah I'm hoping that gets him fired up now here we go with Cody Allen into the game Andrew McCutcheon and you're oh, strike two but anyway this is gonna be the end of the video you can watch the strike up we do strike him on but please like subscribe and comment get ready for the second half of the season we're going to the World Series at least, at least I hope so we're 55 and 32 we're pretty damn awesome but yeah I'm out